I had DM'd you and I said, D- I'm a I'm a Whitney Houston fan. That's me and Whitney. And but I just want to know you got a Whitney story. I think you said you had one. I, I do, and you're gonna laugh at this one. So when I met Whitney, um now Hiram Hicks was my manager. He managed BBD and he managed New Edition. So, you know, Bobby was my label mate. So I already knew Bob. So I'm five months pregnant and with my first son. And um, my 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 kid's dad, my, my two boys, their dad is singer uh, Mark Dorsey. He did Love You Better with LL Cool J. He did, um, he, he did, he was signed to Spike Lee. So he did, um, a remake of People Make the World Go Round. Mm-hmm. He was on all of the, you know, all of those soundtracks. And then he did another song called Crave. So anyway, Whitney and and Robin were going to manage um, Mark. So Mark was already working with Robin. So Robin was like, you, y'all want to go see Whitney? And I was like, heck yeah, I want to go see Whitney because I had never met her. So, and you know, I'm, I'm like you, I love me some Whitney. Can't tell me nothing about Whitney. I don't care if she smoked all of her ankles off. That was my girl. And y'all can't talk about my wit because the most I love her. I don't care Preach. what nobody said. He loved her. Preach. And, and she loved him. Preach. So it's just that them demons was getting in the way. But he loved, she loved the most high. She loved to some Jesus, Yahusha. I call him Yahusha. That's his Hebrew name. She loved, she loved the most high with mm-hmm. everything that she had. Everything. And it just so happened that all of that other stuff was able to get into that was, her listen, life. That was her life journey. Just like what you right. said earlier, right. you could have, and she did. But it's just That's part right. of her life. But it's, it's just, just part, part of her life. life. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And and um, but so when I when we at the show, right, I'm um sitting out, I think we're in the third row from the front. And um CC whining, and I already knew CC and BB because I had met them, you know, when I was gonna sign to um the record label that they were on before I went to MCA. So I see CC and she's holding Bobby Christina. And, um, you know, I'm waving, hey, boo. And then um, Mark and I, we sit down, we watching the show, you know, the show was off the chain. So we get in the back, you know, go, we go in the back. And um, Chris Rock is standing in the back talking to Bobby. So I come back in the back with Robin and, and Mark, me, Robin and Mark. And, um, I was like, she was like, Whitney, you know, um, I'm bringing Mark back here. And then, you know, this is his fiance, but he, she didn't, she didn't even say my name yet. So Chris Rock goes, oh, you don't know Jackie McGee? Cause I know Chris. So he was like, oh, you don't know Jackie McGee? And he started singing, make it last forever. Yeah. But the crazy part was Bobby was like, that's my girl. And he came, wait, before she, I don't even, wait, let me think. Because I don't think she saw Mark yet. So when Bobby was like, that's my girl, <laughs> you could tell Wendy was like, this pregnant little yellow heifer ain't coming in here and you talking about that's your girl. Who, what, what? So you get to see it in her face, right? right. So then Robin, then Robin had said, well, this is Mark's fiance. And that's when, that's when Chris was saying, that's Jackie McGee. You don't know Jackie McGee. And it was like it all came together. And once he started singing it, Whitney was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my song. That's my damn song. And then she started singing it, blowing the the, the roof off of it. And I was like, you know what? Oh, my gosh. I'm just going. I was like, I'm just going. She was like, and you having a baby? She was like, what? She, you know, she was all rubbing my belly and everything. And she was like, girl, that's my song. And she was just singing and, you know. She, Whitney, the one thing I loved about Whitney when I met her, her spirit mm. moved the room because she was full. She was big. She was light. And regardless of what darkness get, got into her life, then I'm going to tell you something because I'm, I'm big on the whole spiritual realm and, I, and you know how I follow the most high and, and Jesus, Yahusha, his son. I know that the industry is is. Very, very demonic. For the ones that don't want to believe it, you better start believing it. Um, it's a lot of evil in our business, and especially when you get to money like that. Mm. It's going to be some souls sold, and it's going to be some ham. Somebody done sold something somewhere. Somebody done allowed something to come in somewhere. Not saying that Whitney didn't have already have 
demons in her life she was fighting because of somewhere of being, you know, some molestation taking place or some abuse, some type of abuse taking place. But now you're dealing with big record labels and you're dealing with all these big name people. And these big name people ain't big name for no reason. Mm. And, and Satan has his chosen. I'm telling you, Whitney's spirit was so freaking strong. Her light that she had on her. Yes. The devil wanted that soul because mm. she loved the most high. Everything and, and, about and wasn't her. Afraid, her voice, and wasn't afraid to tell nobody. 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 On the biggest stages. And and look, and Riff, Riff. Saying God and Jesus in the same thing. <laughs> and, then, and, be, and be like, and I said that. Yeah. And I said that. And like I said, her light was so bright. And I just felt like darkness wanted to take her. And I really believe, I really believe, I'm, I'm, I'm praying, but I believe that she's all right. I believe that her name is going to be in the book. I believe it. I believe yeah. it because I know the most high loved her so much. You know what I mean? And she loved him. Oh. And, and oh girl, because I'll start crying talking about it. Yeah. But um I just I just I had did. I just had to get that, you know, I'm I'm somebody who's gonna always ask about Whitney to anybody. That's right, and you should. <laughs> you should. Listen. We love Whitney, and they will it will never be another one. There will never be another one. I'm sorry. Preach. Sorry. Preach. I mean, you know, it's a lot of them that could have came behind her. Did some stuff, but mm -mm. 